Brass Monkey! Peter, can I ask you something? You're not just hanging out with me because I, I can buy you alcohol, right? What? Of course not. We're friends. Yeah, no, I, I know. That's, that's, that's what I thought. And also, you bring me dead birds. I know Lois gets mad about it, but I like using them to point at things. Hey, did they move the bagels? Yeah, they're right there. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? This? This is a pointing bird. You could just change the law. But it's a good law. No, it ain't. Look, don't you understand what drinking means to us working stiffs? It helps us forget about our day and tell our children we love them with a straight face. It allows gross uggos to boof each other's gross uggo parts. And it gives people the courage to sneak onto their mayor's property and blackmail him and eat all his ripe tomatoes. That was a croquet ball. Ah, then could you point me to the closest nighttime dentist? <coughs> <sighs> Couch it is, I guess. Oh, my God, the couch is gone. Where the hell is... Oh, that's right, Couchella is this weekend. Hey, man, where you been? I just had sex with a girl on her period. Dude, that's not a brag. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing up here? I need you to take the trash out. You know what? I'm gonna use this Peter doesn't have to take out the trash coupon that I got for my anniversary. You gave that to yourself. I don't know. It says official. Oh, forget it. I'll do it myself. This whole attic business is ridiculous. Hey, guys. Check it out. I'm a lady. Joe, you hit a home run with that. I want to try it. I shall never allow myself to fall asleep again. Come on, that's ridiculous. How do you think you're gonna do that? I don't know. Maybe I'll get a job working the night shift at a supermarket. Hey, where's the vegetable aisle? Yeah, right. It's 2 a.m. You're not here for vegetables. Well, I got the 12 cucumbers. What's wrong? Just this guy at the... Oh, never mind. Well, why don't you go up to the attic? I think there's even a futon up there. Ah, huh, that's a great idea. Geez, I'm glad you came along. I'm gonna sleep better than a cartoon sheriff. <laughs> I was in jail because I killed a bunch of old ladies. And now that I'm out, I'm gonna do it again. Hey, wake up! I had a bad dream, so now your night has to be terrible. Peter, Stewie's upset. Scooch over so he can sleep with us. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Last time he kicked me all night. And I got a big day tomorrow. I got two shows. All right, folks, big treat for you today. He's a little shy. Put your hands together for Sham Peter. I'm not shy. I'm angry. I'm in constant pain. This act has been condemned by over 30 nations. I'm going to kill you all. Come on. I know it seems hard, but we can't just give up. I mean, what if Thomas Edison had given up? Uh, what's that? W what's that thing you're working on? Well, it's a light bulb and... A light bulb! Light bulb! Yeah, I invented that! Me! I'm Thomas Edison! I invented the light bulb! Uh, what's it do? It lights up a room using electrical... Lights up a room using electrical stuff! I was about to say that because I invented it! Uh, what are you working on? It's a phonograph. Phonograph! That... I knew that because I invented it! I'm Thomas Edison! I rule! Look it up! Edison was a dick! All right, you completely lied about why you were hanging out with me. What? I never lie. Well, except for that one time. Oh, my God! My husband's having a heart attack! Is anyone here a doctor? I have a 13-inch penis. Peter, why'd you want me to get us into this prison? Because, Joe, everyone knows that all prisoners make bootleg wine in their toilet. We are gonna get so wasted. Oh, look, right here. This one's full of Chardonnay. Peter, I don't think that's... But it was Chardonnay, the best Chardonnay I'd ever had in my life. The man who made it, Curtis Murder Dog Williams, went on to become one of America's most celebrated vintners. Hey, Joe here. Peter's lying. He drank pee-pee. I mean, can you imagine if you make a million bucks? You'll be happier than a guy on his wedding day. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, free time. Farewell, sex. So long, golf on TV. I'll miss you, privacy. Goodbye being honest about how many beers I've had. Nice knowing you, my own choices. See you later, money! We now return to Kevin James Got Too Fat to Be in Movies. Kevin James, why'd you have to come back to television? I ate Adam Sandler. Yoo-hoo! I'm in here with the pizza! You want her even more than I wanted the new iPhone. How's it going? Good, just looking forward to getting that new phone. 
What are you talking about? This isn't the Apple Store. This is a super gay club. Yeah, right. I leave and you get my phone. Nice try, cutie pie. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my Grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Are you also married? Right, all right. I suppose we can make this work. Like that actress from Rizzoli and Isles and her husband do. Honey, I thought we could do a little role-playing tonight. Oh, yeah? What'd you have in mind? Maybe I could be my character from the show. Oh, yeah, from the show. Sure. Um, oh, no. It's the law enforcement woman, part of that great team of Rizzoli and Isles. You don't know what part I play, do you? Hey, look, you didn't marry me because of my brains. You married me because I play one of the main bad guys in Blue Bloods. Now let's just stop talking and have idiot actor sex. Ugh! 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 Very good, Stewie. You grunt like a Hungarian lesbian. <sighs> Thanks, Dimitri. And uh, your testicles hanging out of your shorts again. I am cooling it. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to hear your process. Look, I'm just happy you pushed me, because now I can't wait for that tournament. I know, it's going to be great. And I already know exactly where I'm going to put that trophy. So the baby died? Yeah, the baby died. But look, first place. Well, I hope you know that's not who I am anymore. I do. And I hope I didn't cause you too much trouble. This is not a drill. I repeat, not a drill. Good to be back doing this again, huh, Bill? What, shoveling coal into a penis? I was sleeping. What's happening? I don't know. Someone, someone get me nude art books. I need nude art books. Oh, good, Chris. You can hang this New York Times back on it. Oh, a pee-pee. Hey, Peter, you want to earn another 10 bucks? Of course I do. Great, I got a hilarious one. I'll give you $10 for your L4 vertebrae. So, uh, I guess this means, Peter, you're our Joe now, and Joe, you're our Peter. That means you got to do anything for 10 bucks. Okay. I have a request. Yay, Joe's chin! Peter, what's wrong? Well, I want to masturbate, but I'm just so darn cold. Too bad there's no answer for that problem. But now there is. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin, creator of The Yankin. If you're anything like me, the number one problem in your life is that you can't masturbate just anywhere. But now you can. Introducing The Yankin, the only blanket with built-in decoy arms. Our patented process makes it look like you're holding the remote or sipping a beer. Meanwhile, your real hands are under the blanket, going to town. Peter, what are you doing? Nothing. Let's watch a Scarlett Johansson movie. But wait, there's more. We have Yankets for all occasions. Sporting events, at the supermarket, on the job. Hey, what's going on under that blanket? You'll never know. We now return to Star Trek Creep Space Nine. She saw us! Warp speed! Where are you going? I'm going to Quagmire's to get some hand-me-downs. His dad mom sent over some boxes of men's clothes from back before the old chippity chappity. Ugh, you shouldn't wear people's old dirty clothes. Well, I'm a dirty guy, Lois. Haven't you ever seen my naughty late-night party line commercials? Hey, are you lonely? Do you like to party with hot girls? What about horsing around with fat guys? Well, what are you waiting for? Give us a call. I'll be on the toilet wearing a t-shirt that's so long I have to hold it under my chin while I wipe. Oh, crap! What do we do about our show? Now I know how that German movie producer felt. All right, Friedrich. Now that World War II is over, we can get back to making comedies again. Get me these comedy writers. Uh, I don't think any of these guys are available. What? This is terrible! Get me my agent! He's, uh, he's probably not going to answer either. Well, this is crazy. What happened? Oh, I remember. I'm not going to make the same mistake American Johnny did. I'm staying here. Will Quagmire stay in Korea? Will Peter find a new friend? Find out. After this Korean commercial, Ashton Kutcher thought no one in America would ever see. Hi. 
I'm Ashton Kutcher. Have you ever killed a dog while driving drunk and then been upset that there was no way for your car engine to cook it for you on the rest of the drive home? Well, those days are over. Thanks to Dr. Lee's Pet Engine Cooking Bag. Just put the dog in the bag, place it over the engine block, and drive your usual 20 miles per hour over the speed limit. Mmm, bow wow. I'm Ashton Kutcher, and remember, Dr. Lee's Pet Engine Cooking Bags are not meant for babies, but they can be used for babies. <laughs> but there's still time for Stewie. Let's sit down later and see if we can figure out a plan to get our finances in order. Yeah, don't worry about it, Lois. I will always provide for the family, even if I have to shoot our dinner. <laughs> This'll look great in my study. I'm a hunter, but I'm a silly hunter. Hey, what's Dad doing over there with Chris? Oh, he's telling him that he's no longer his favorite son. No! No, Daddy! 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 I didn't even tell him. He just does not like to be touched. Well, I can't believe Stewie's a commercial star. We haven't had a celebrity in a family since my great aunt, Queen of Burlesque Griffin. Cheesy jokes and ugly broads. Way back when, they had no porn, just scarves, fans, fat, gross. A terrible time for your penis to live in. Whoa, Mama, there's a kick like a mule. Who will buy this wonderful morning? Such a sky you never did see. There he is. There's the magic. Peter, you're giving your baby drugs to improve his acting career? Oh, he's fine with it. Stewie, if you're fine with it, bleed from the nose. I think that's pretty close. Yeah, I even bought an awesome voice-activated 3D printer. Why the hell do you need a 3D printer? Print Coyote. <laughs> I can't make him attack you, Brian, but if I keep printing them, eventually one will go after you. You remember he couldn't even figure out how to use a hotel business center. So, what business are you in? Oh, I'm just here to look at other people's emails who haven't logged out. Then how's business? Well, I've left some pretty wild replies on a bunch of evites. Look at this. I'm bringing 53 guests. You're the coolest guy I've ever met one of these things. What do you want to do? I don't know. Sucks that we're stuck here alone. Wait a minute. Here alone? You taking what I'm taking? This was not what I was thinking. That's weird. It's not what I was thinking either. I don't even know how it happened. No, me neither. But this spaghetti's not half bad. A happy mistake, we'll call it. <sighs> Man, spending a whole day with him is going to be worse than eating at a ballpark. Uh, I'll take one terrible beer filled up way too high so I spill most of it, and a too long hot dog on a too short bun. And do you have mustard and relish? Yeah, it's right there between the entrance and the exit to the bathroom. Perfect. And can I get a bag of unsalted peanuts? You know, something I would never eat anywhere else in the world? Sure, here you go. Great, great. I can't wait to have diarrhea in the stall with no door while 20 guys wait for me to finish. <laughs> Oh, my God, I wasn't even supposed to be here. I passed out at the Tom Petty concert last night and just stayed. You're gonna open my door And I'm gonna reach over and open your Go pay for dinner, take me to see a movie And whisper in my ear how bad you really wanna do me Please, go slow. I have IBS. Look, th th this isn't us. This is just the no food and sleeping in a car talking. We can make this work, like couples who meet on Craigslist. You're not, not what, what you, you look, look like, like in, in your picture. picture. Let's, Let's get, get this, this over with. I wonder which one of us is the murderer. Because just sitting here all sober is more boring than watching a pot boil. Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God. It's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, babe. 